minute. Looks desperately tired. Bexton's just got to do enough to catch the judge's eye. But it's Mazash is really pulling on with an uppercut. Big right hand, Baxton rides it out though. How did he stay up with that? Terrific attack from Mazash. Big right hand. And Faxton, bravely now, comes back. Last 30 seconds. Can he produce a grandstand? Last 30. Just to keep working, Daxton. Keep plodding forward. Keep the chin down, the hands up. Faxton was so proud in taking the title back in October. First defence, and he takes two more big headshots and holds on tired. Desperately so. The French corner are almost in the ring with him, shouting their encouragement. Well, they're so animated, the referee should really tell them. Maybe, who knows, it may be that this last three minutes could determine the outcome of the fight. I wonder. Come on, ice pack, please. Right, John, deep and breathe. You've got to go out and give your best for you, know, isn't it? Everything you've got there were big attacks from Mazash in that round. That big right hand, how did Thaxton stay up from that? That was the one which I thought would have floored many a fighter. But he just took it. One round remaining. That's how Duke's got it. I've got it closer. The Norwich faithful try and inspire their man. Great show of respect as the two embrace before what is going to be a surely richly dramatic last three minutes. They will go toe-to-toe -to -toe and wage fistic warfare. Mazashi is so fired up. He can sense victory, he can taste victory. He knows that if he can land some good shots on Thaxton, maybe he's forced a late stoppage. But Thaxton will not want to give anything up, and the right eye now of Mazash has gone. He's also got an evil cut there. Good job for him, that didn't come earlier in the fight. And that will now, he can't see through that right eye, I don't think. He's blinking really uncomfortably, and Thaxton will sense that there is a final possible twist in the tail. He's looking anxiously at his corner, Mazash, as much as to say, is this as bad as it feels? And they'll just say, just keep going, find your way through to the final bell. Well, the... Thaxton can't throw the combinations now, he's too tired. So he's got a pot shot, he's got to look for single punches. You know, try the old tricks, hold on with, with the blind side of the referee, step on this guy's toe, put his head down, shoulder him off, whatever it takes to hang on to the championship. This has been a savage fight. And Thaxton comes back once more. It's a desperately close fight. Boxing isn't everybody's cup of tea, I know that. But just look at the fans here. Empathising with their man. They so want Thaxton to somehow hold on to this title that he carries so proudly. But he looks tired, he looks dejected. He'll be glad to hear the end of this fight. Mazash also now tired, but Will is just driving him on. Jono, Jono, the champs go up again. Mazas trying to showboat. His right eye is a mess. Thaxton also badly damaged. They're not going to be back in the ring for a while, these two. It's been a good fight. It's been a terrific fight. It's a big last round by Mazash. You'd see this one again. Whether either of them would want it again is a completely different matter. Whoever wins this maybe won't want to see the other guy again. Well, I've, I've just got Thaxton ahead. But I've got Mazesh winning this round. Could even be a draw, of course. Don't forget that as a possibility. Terrific fight. Thaxton was 9-1 to one on to win it. And look at that. They know that that is a fight they will remember for the rest of their lives. Terrific performance from both men.
time, that was a little cracker. Who is going to keep this European title tonight? Will it be Thaxton or will it be claimed by Mazash? Who will go with the European belt? He wants to know what his corner think. Has he done enough? They're not sure. Mazash thinks he's done it. And it's such an agonising wait. Mazash is being chaired around the ring by his brother Frank. He thinks he's the new champion. Thaxton thinks he's still the champion. He waves to his fans. Who are you? Who are you? The fans chant. The British fans, that is. Well, his name's Anthony Mazash, and he's produced an epic night of boxing action along with a proud champion in John Thaxton. The scores are being tallied. It must be close, this one. Words from Junior Witter for his friend John Thaxton. They're checking on the scores. British Boxing Board of Control having a look. The European officials as well. The judges, Adrian Zanoni, Piat Hasselman and Francisco, Francisco Marcos. And how are they going to have it? It must be close. Well, there are the deliberations of the wise men. And it is being passed up to our master of ceremonies, who is having a close look at it to see exactly how it is and to get it absolutely right. Who's going to have won this terrific fight here in Norwich? I think now we can go into the ring. The referee's having a look as well. He wants to know who's got it, whose hand is he going to be ri raising? Well, here it comes. Is it going to be a John Thaxton night or a night of French celebration? Here is the result. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Bayat Hausaman scores it 115 to 112. Judge Francisco Vasquez Marcos scores it 115 to 111. And Judge Adrio Zanoni scores it 114 to 113. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And new European Lightweight Champion, Anthony Massage. It's a French victory. The margins wider than we thought, but it is an emphatic and unanimous decision. Thaxton loses his European title, and, and Anthony Massage is Thaxton. the new champion. John Thaxton getting a terrific ovation from the crowd. Mazash said that he had a plan and that if he got through the first three rounds, he would implement it. He got nailed in the first round, went down, docked a point, but it wasn't enough for Thaxton and it was the work rate and precision of Mazash which enabled him to prevail and he is the new European champion. Thank you, John. He had a plan and he delivered. The judges, one judge giving it by three rounds, one by astonishingly a four-round margin, and one by just a single point, but all to this very competent man from Clichy in Paris, Anthony Maizas. John Thaxton will be a very, very disappointed man. We will endeavour to have a word with Mazash, but he has come and done the business as uh, the Frenchman and John Thaxton has a lot to think about. Anthony Mazash, though, what a recovery after losing that first round by 10 points to 7, by three clear points. Rejoin us very shortly in March.